What's up, y'all? I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm just chilling. I'm sick as a dog, but I got my hoodie on. I'm going to sweat it out. But I wanted to share the fastest workflow in FL Studio that I've seen on the internet. Because I don't see people loading in their samples and virtual instruments, their MIDI like this. I wanted to share it with you because it's just, it's so sick. So I wanted to show you my template so that moving forward on all my YouTubes, you'll know my template and you'll know my workflow and therefore it'll be easier to follow along. So at the end of my mixer, I have eight channels. I have hall, plate, delay, widener, big room, small room, ambient, and drum comp. So here's the drum comp where I send my buses to. I'm paralleling this, by the way. I'm not sending it to like a folder. <clears throat> um, but I have the API on there. There's my settings if you want them. Um, and then just the Valhalla Vintage Verb um, on my reverb. And um, small room, I just throw it on there when I need it. Big room, widener, I have the micro shift uh, by Sound Toys. There's my settings if you want to pause. Um, delay, obviously, Echo Boy. You guys are probably on that already. Um, plate, little plate by Sound Toys as well. I love that company. And then my hall. <clears throat> so yeah, and then I just have like a reverb shelving off like the bass, a little bit of the top of all my reverbs going after the fact. So I want you to build muscle memory on, on how you import the samples and how you import your MIDI every single time. The reason why this is important is everything will be located on the left column of the playlist right here. So you have your sequencer first, right? And then you have these where it says like track one, two, three, four, five, all that, your playlist. We're going to be utilizing that. So everything that you're going to drop, whether it's a sample or you're loading serum or you're loading your sampler for one shots, everything's going to be done on this left column here and not in the sequencer. So check this out. For instance... So normally how people will do it is they'll drop, they'll drag it into FL Studio and drop it, right? And then they'll time it. And then right here, they'll route it, you know, to a mixer channel. But the thing is, if I click the other tracks, it doesn't automatically switch to that channel. See, even when I click this channel, number one again, see how it's not changing on the mixer? That's where things start to slow down. Once you get a big session going and you have vocals and you're flying things around, you want them to be binded to the actual track so that when you're flying stuff around, it goes with it. And you can pull, you can recall your plugin chains really, really fast. So how you do that is say we delete this, right? When you import a sample, you're going to drag it onto the left column here where it says track two. Just drag it. This little dialog window will pop up. You'll have audio clips, audio tracks, instrument tracks, and cancel. You're, when you're using a sample from Splice, you're going to hit audio tracks, the second option. So what it's done is it's dropped a sample onto the timeline, right? So what we would do is we can time it, but if you look it, it's already routed it. So you can do this by routing it like that, or you can hit Command L, but the behavior, when you have a bigger session down the road, it doesn't allow you to click these and go to your plugin list. And I'll show you how that works. So I've been using Ableton and those other DAWs for about 12 years on and off. I jump back and forth for clients and do like small Melodyne jobs, vocal jobs, stuff like that. And then my own stuff, right? Whatever I'm feeling. But I've been sticking to FL lately because I found this out and it's just like, it's unreal. So FL has the upper hand when it comes to like arranging, you know, and, the, and like erasing and moving stuff around on the timeline. FL is so much faster. But what's better in other DAWs and makes them really fast, especially Ableton, is the way that it like routes things and the way that you can get to the plugins really, really fast. Because it's all on one window, right? So as you can see on my window, I have my sequencer to the left. I have my playlist in front of me, the grid. And then I have my mixer at the bottom. I want to see everything in one window. I don't want a million windows popping up and da-da-da. It makes FL a nightmare to work with when there's just like a million windows popping up. It's just, it's annoying. And then also what's annoying is having to route every individual thing 
after the fact or doing it in the sequencer and then you you highlight them all and then you split to playlist and then it splits them all but it still doesn't bind the mixer the same like i'm going to show you so um how to do that is now you know how to drop samples into fl studio the right way so you'll take this one here's another sample we're going to drag this onto the left column hit audio tracks on this dialog window second option then you'll go ahead and you'll time your sample like normal and now you can see see how it's already routed to two so if you go ahead and name this beat two look what it does on the mixer and what you'll notice is that if I click only once see how if I click on the side and then I go to this one that it goes to the next one on the mixer right so say you have a big, big session, right? So we'll, we'll do this again. We'll have this one, and then we will have this one, and then we'll drop this one. So say we have all these, right? I'm just going to pick any plugins for this demonstration. So we'll put this one and Shaper Box. So then on this one, I'll have this multiband, patcher, and imager so we'll have those ones and then on this one we'll have just again i'm picking any any plugins for this demonstration so the cool thing about this is when i'm picking these and i want to recall plugin list really fast look it i just click here just like in ableton logic cubase any of those and it will take me to the plugin chain at the bottom right so look at that boom switch is there Boom, switch is there. So this in and of itself makes it so much faster when you're flying around in the stall. So if you are importing samples, you're going to do it in this left column. If you're going to load up a new pattern, check this out. You're also going to do it on this left column. You're going to right click in an open track. You're going to go to track mode, instrument, and then you're going to pick what you want. A big one in FL Studio is the sampler. So anytime you're going to load a one shot, that's how you load it. Right click, track mode, instrument track, sampler. This will pop up. That's where you're going to drop it. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll go get our 808, right? So we'll get an 808. Perfect. We're going to drag that onto the sampler. But look what it did. It also made a MIDI clip for you and a pattern. So it's like all these things you don't have to do in it. So anytime I want to go, I don't have to go to the sequencer to get my MIDI. I can just click here like normal, right? And if I want the sampler, I just click here and the sampler pops up instead of going to the sequencer. So everything will be here so I can go, oh, I want the plugins here. Oh, I want this here. If I want to load a serum, I do the same thing. Here's an open track. Track mode, instrument will open up serum. And this is like, this is just even cooler. Like if I'm here, look, it, it just made a pattern, a new pattern for me. So I don't have to F2, make a new pattern at the top. None of that made a new one. And then I can have my serum. Say I have another serum here, track mode, instrument, load up serum. Boom. It just made another MIDI clip and a new pattern. So the, all of that stuff gets done for you. But check this out. I don't even, if I'm cutting up here on the grid, I'm, cutting stuff up i just want my serum real quick i just double click on on the word serum right here on the left just like i did these where it goes down and automatically switches at the bottom look what it does boop serum pops up oh, i want to close that oh, i want this serum to you don't even have to go to the sequencer at all you can do everything on the grid just like you would in in, in the other dots which makes other dots like really really fast People just don't know you can use FL Studio the exact same way, but now you have the benefits of arranging with the paint tool and the MIDI capabilities. But then you have the routing of like Pro Tools, uh, Cubase, Ableton, all those good ones. Isn't that amazing? So this is even cooler when you're working on vocals, and I'll save that for a later date. But because we have, you can now fade, it has like the fade tool and gain staging and stuff built onto the grid in FL Studio. If you bind everything to the track, now you can fly around vocals and just 
pull a vocal right onto the playlist and it'll have all of the those plugins already applied to that. So now you know this will save you so much time when you just want to get to your plugins real quick, you just click on it. There's my plugin list at the bottom for that track. There's my plugin list for this track. There's my plugin list for this track. So you can just locate everything from a single click here and then on the virtual instruments, you just double click. Oh, there's my serum. Oh, there's my other serum. So there's no more of like soloing something to see where like the meter's going and you're like, oh, my plugins are there. And then you click here, do that. Or if you just drop them, you can double click them, yes, but then the dialogue window pops up. And so you have a bunch of windows flying around and you have to close them and all of it. So this is the fastest way of doing it once you go through all the workflows. So this is the fastest workflow for sure, bar none. You just have to build muscle memory of doing it and then the time that will save routing or looking for plugins or pulling up your or going through your sequencer and looking for what synth it is and then clicking it this will save you so much time so yeah now you have best of both worlds you got your fast painting and playlist midi and now you have the routing of other DAWs so uh, I'm excited that I got to share this with you guys I just uh, stumbled upon this and I've been using it and I'm like I'm just so in love with FL Studio now and um yeah just gonna sweat the sickness out and chill let's make some beats this week and now you know my template and uh yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you guys in the comments peace